walked five miles when I was preaching in Belize, Central America. We was doing three services a day. She walked five miles barefooted. Had five little children hanging on to her. And was expecting her sixth baby. And she, I'll never forget it. She walked up to me and she said, are you the missionary from the United States? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I have walked five miles today to find out exactly who Jesus really is. And in that service, let me tell you, God gave her the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And God not only gave her the Holy Ghost, but He healed her of a stillborn baby. The midwives of Holy City had told her two days previous, we will deliver you, but your sixth baby will be a stillborn baby. And that service, by word of knowledge, the Lord spoke to me and I said, I do not know you, but the baby that you're carrying has been pronounced stillborn. But God tells me that you will deliver a prophet, thus saith the Lord. That was in 1986. Before my plane left Belize City and I flew to Australia, I'm here to tell you today that midwives did not only birthed her baby, but she gave birth to a 12 and a half pound bouncing baby boy. And today, in 2010, that young man is preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We serve the supernatural God. to tell me that God can do it. God can do it. Sometime back I was down with an apparent appendicitis. Went six and a half weeks believing God for my healing. This descendant couldn't wear church clothes, had to wear pajamas and a house coat to church. At the end of six and a half weeks, I felt like I had got my limit. I wanted God to get the glory of the healing. I was in my bathroom taking a shower. Deathly sick. And I said, God, I'm going to have my wife. I've been married to the same good woman for 40 years. Sometimes I make my five daughters two sons of the land with me when I say, I gave your mother seven children. Well, they say no. She gave you seven children. So, we'll just let the Lord decide that. But I was in the shower. And I'll never forget. I wasn't shutting the door completely just in case I needed to yell for help. But for some reason, when I went to step in the shower, I shut the door. And it shut. As I was in the shower talking to God in raging pain, sick unto death, I said, God, I wanted you to receive the glory of this healing. But apparently I don't have the faith. I'm going to have to go have an apodectomy. I went my limit. Spontaneously, that door opened. All by itself. I pushed the shower curtain, pulled it back, thinking somebody was coming in. Somebody was there all right. When I pulled that curtain back, and I'll never forget it, there was a cool breeze hit me right in the face. From that day to this, I have been completely healed by the power of God. You have come too late to tell me that God does not heal today. I've seen it. Everywhere I go, I see it. Why? Because I believe. I know I won't lay hands on you today if I don't believe. I lay hands upon you, it's because I believe right. that God 
shall set you free of your infirmity. The Lord is here. We don't have to pray for him to come. I just got done with the revival in Fresno. Exactly what he was doing when he touched her. So, if this is your first time to be in an apostolic church, don't be afraid. Receive. Receive what you need from the Lord. Because he is here to bless you. Father, I take authority over every sickness in this assembly. Every infirmity. I curse every sickness. I want you to set the captive free today. Your presence is here to deliver people and to set people free by the power of God. Every sickness is cursed. No matter what they have been told by medical science, I pronounce healing upon them today. Be healed by the power of God. Be set free by the power of God. This is your day for deliverance. Be healed. Some of you are experiencing a ray of heat upon your bodies as I speak. Others might receive a cool breeze. But the manifestation of healing is in operation in this assembly today. Shanta Mokasendo. Shanta Sando. Be healed. The disease of cancer is cursed. Congestive heart failure, hypertension, lower back pain, sugar diabetes is cursed. Be healed of every infirmity. I take authority against all pain in the bodies of this people. Be healed for the glory of God. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Raise your hands and praise Him today. Receive power. Receive power from the Holy Ghost. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Shalom. You have preached under heavy anointing. God brought you out of outer darkness into his marvelous light. I mentioned to the to this elder that you were shouting like you had hinds feet. You know the Bible speaks of hinds feet? Now, I used to be quite a dancer in my day in the church. But I've got 200 plus none of your business pounds on me. <laughs> I don't shout like I used to. <sighs> Raise your hands and worship the Lord.